As we get older, it's a fact of nature that things start to head south. And for the majority of us, that includes our jawline. Jowls are an area of concern for so many women. Well, today I'm going to share with you what I discovered by chance when I was having my braces treatment. I had braces fitted just two years ago. And I also discovered this little technique that helps tighten, lift and tone your lower face, including jowls and jawline. If you're ready, let's get started. Now, when it comes to the jawline, there are very limited treatments that you can have. You can go and have surgery, you can have a lower facelift, you can have Botox, which will temporarily freeze the muscles that pull down, or you can have filler, which will create a, an artificial jawline, let's say. So when I was having my braces fitted, part of having braces are retainers. And when I had the retainers, I found that what I was doing was placing my tongue at the roof of my mouth. It felt comfortable. I also closed my mouth so much more through the day and when I was sleeping at night. Now, I didn't notice immediately that I was doing anything different. All I was doing really was hiding the fact that I had braces. So I walked around with my mouth closed pretty much all the time. And if I smiled, I smiled with quite a shallow smile. But what I was actually doing was placing my tongue at the roof of my mouth. Now this, in turn, changed my face shape. And this is what I wanted to share with you. Now the technique that I was using, I didn't know at the time, is called mewing. Mewing was created by an orthodontist called Dr. John Mew. Now he discovered that in cases where jaw lines hadn't developed properly and the jaw bone was either underdeveloped or the jaw line was incorrectly proportioned to the face, he discovered this technique. In fact, he invented this technique, which was to place the tongue at the top of the mouth and create almost a suction. Now it seems so simple and yet it is so clever. It works. What you're actually doing is training muscles that you potentially wouldn't be using very much because they're normally relaxed. You're training these muscles to build up, which in turn tightens the structure of your lower face. Now, the scientific evidence is fairly limited. However, the claims for mewing include define and tighten the jawline, improve facial symmetry, enhance breathing, reduce snoring and sleep apnea, and correct and improve speech issues. Now, it's so important to remember that as with everything, consistency is key. So this isn't something you can just do once, then suddenly you've taken 10 years off of your jawline. This is something that you need to do daily and it needs to be a consistent habit. In fact, I do this without even realizing now and that's because I used to do it constantly for the 18 months that I was wearing braces and keeping my mouth closed. Now I'm going to demonstrate exactly how you do mewing and what you shouldn't be doing. It's really, really important though that I'm not the expert, Dr. John Mew is, and I will link him in this video. So if you wanted to check him out, you can. And I also add one or two extras to my routine that I know are beneficial, both for my tightening of my skin, but also my overall skin health. Because at the end of the day, that's what matters. It's not just about one feature. We want to make sure that everything that we're doing is helping keep us healthy. Now on to the technique. So first of all, the technique is fairly straightforward, but you can fall into difficulties if you get it wrong. So we're going to get our tongue and we're going to click it at the top of our mouth. And I don't mean butting it against your teeth. If this is your palate and this is the top of your mouth and my fingertips are your teeth, your tongue wants to be up here, not over here. So literally making that noise right at the top of your mouth. And once you've engaged it, the idea is that you then swallow. So once the tongue is at the top of the mouth, swallow, close your mouth. So the idea is that your tongue is sat in that curvature of the roof of your mouth, nice and tight, almost like a suction because you've swallowed any excess saliva and it is literally just clamped there. You don't want to be pushing it so hard against the roof of your mouth that you get cramp, but you don't want to be pushing your tongue against your teeth. And that's simply it. You just continue with that whenever you aren't talking and you're not eating, when your mouth is closed, you keep your tongue up on the roof of your mouth. 
super important that you also do it when you're falling asleep. So I was doing this naturally anyway, and it just became second nature. Closing your mouth when you sleep will actually improve not only your sleep, but also your health. I used to suffer with really bad dry mouth and doing this technique improved that no end. So I'm going to demonstrate from the side and I will show you when my mouth is relaxed and when I have got my tongue at the roof of my mouth. So this is me relaxed. And this is me with my tongue at the roof of my mouth. See a difference? Relaxed. And now with the technique. Now that's all you've got to do. It is simply that one movement, keeping your tongue right at the roof of your mouth and just leaving it there and getting comfortable with that. Now you probably already do this. You may not realize it. If you wear dentures, you probably already do it. I know a lot of people that have the braces with the actual plate often put their tongue at the roof of the mouth. It's almost like you're securing it and it becomes a bit of a habit. So that's mewing, you want to do it all the time and make it your daily habit. And you will notice it starts to lift this part and this part of your face, which in turn helps with the jowls. Now I will explain to you that the reason we get jowls is because our soft tissue structures start to fall forward. They don't fall down, they fall forward as we get older. Those are the muscles and the fat pads. And this is why we get the weighty bits here. And that's because what used to hold us up here starts to atrophy and all of our muscles and soft tissue starts to drop. We also get nasal folds as we get older too. But this very simple technique of mewing will help tighten that jawline. I wanted to take it one step further, however, because I am 55 at the end of the day and things are heading south and I want to avoid surgery or any major intervention as much as possible for as long as possible. So as well as this mewing technique from Dr. John Mew, I also do a massage. It's quite a strong lymphatic massage, which helps not only reduce puffiness, but it's also helping stimulate blood vessels to the muscles, which then increases cell production, which at the end of the day helps with tightening. It's helping with the skin, it's helping with the lymphatic system, and it's helping with your muscles too. Now I love to use a gua sha. I love these metal ones. I think that they're great because you can pop them in the fridge, they're nice and cold. And it's a good idea to get one that's got a really good groove so that you can glide it just like so. I use this every single night when I go to bed. I just make it part of my routine. Now, literally slide across and then you can come down your neck. That's how you remove any kind of lymph buildup and you create tightness and tautness in the neck. It is a very simple, easy technique. Now what I love, and you know what's coming when it comes to skincare, is castor oil. I absolutely love using castor oil when it comes to anything to do with massage or any skin health. This is a fabulous, fabulous little addition. If you haven't used castor oil, you maybe want to check out my videos. I'll link them above and below for you. This is my technique. So I'm coming in. You want to maybe just hold your skin taut, come in, come across and down. Remember, straight across and down. And you can do that as often as you wish. What you'll notice is you start to get a straighter jawline. It's incredible. The next thing I want to talk about when it comes to our jawline and our neck is how much time we spend on these looking down. Well, look at me. If I do that, you've got all of this happening. If I raise my phone just slightly, then look at the difference. We need to get into the habit of raising our chins and stopping looking down. I know it's difficult. We're all on devices. Some of us work on them for a living, myself included. It is difficult to break that habit, but genuinely, if you can just raise your device to eye level or even just slightly higher so you're not causing your jaw and your neck to be lowered, you're going to increase that definition. It's going to improve. You're also going to save yourself from all the necklines that we do get. Yet. It's called tech neck for a reason because we're spending so much time on devices. All I know is that this mewing technique from Dr. Mew works. Keep practicing mewing, 
Keep going with your castor oil and your lymphatic drainage massage and you will have a tighter jawline too. But remember, it's not overnight. If you keep going for at least a week, you're going to notice differences, I promise you. Keep going over two years, you'll start to get a tighter jawline. Many people comment about my jawline and I put it down to the fact that I do this technique and my lymphatic massage with my castor oil. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did perhaps you'll give it a thumbs up and share it with your girlfriends and if you haven't done so already I would love it if you subscribed. I bring videos every single Wednesday and Saturday to help you look good and feel fabulous. Until the next time, bye for now.